Mandela. Afar, like Alice in the Wonderland, a tourist in a strange land, or as a curious onlooker charmed by the geography of a countryside overhead over the years, be not confused. This is a portion of one of the most referenced localities in South Africa, Soweto, one of the first 10 tourist destinations in today's post-apartheid Johannesburg, one of the most destructive repressive system which has been dismantled, apartheid. Okay. It won't leave unless we, we go stand there, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, two, three meters away. Mm -hmm. Then we we'll come back. You see, it's a very, it's a very defensive uh, bird. It's a keep keep bird. It's very uh, indigenous to uh, uh, South Africa. Have you ever been to Mandela House? Yeah, Mandela House is just here, uh, here uh, 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 in, the, in, the, in, the, in the west. See what Nelson did, he, did, he, did, he brought freedom for this bird also. Okay. He's a lovely, he's the first lovely man. Mm. Yes. Mandela is, is the right man. The right man for? Anything you, you got. You won't get caught in London, we had no Mandela. Wednesday won't go to the school legs, less of the free. The township is ruined by the possibly scattered nature of homes. But these buildings house some of the painful memories of a system whose existence clocked almost a century. And one of the most iconic houses in this area of Orlando West is the Mandela House, located in the same area like the Desmond Tutu or Winnie Mandela Houses, the original compounds of the Titans of the anti apartheid system. Hey, ordinary life is on here. What is your name? In uh, What are you doing here? Selling. You are a businessman? Yes. What does it mean doing business around Mandela House? Um, it's very special because uh, in the olden days you wouldn't do that, you know, during the apartheid era. You wouldn't sell around like this. And uh, now that we are free, uh, we happy to be the ones, you know, selling and uh, welcoming the tourists in our country. Yeah. Adorned with the feeling of ordinary business, decorated with symbols of the liberation movement, my journey to the Mandela House, amongst the first 20 tourist destinations in South Africa, starts here at the Vilakazi Street, Orlando West, as I move on the same grounds that people like Steve Biko passed through alongside some students of the famous 1976 Soweto massacre, the birth of today's day of the African child. And I remain focused, communicating only with my eyes to notice the Mandela family restaurant, one of the major signs that I am almost close to my point of interest. The Mandela House, today a national museum. The sounds of drum welcome me to the Mandela compound in the best of African solidarity, Ubuntu, the South African version of living together. Mandela 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 Hey no Mandela house Villa house is free Mandela free yes it's way to the real place it is a free this is called a cordial or warm reception in diplomacy, a kind of I am part of them, because even children stage their own show in this place where only words 
like peace, generosity, love, unity, honesty, simplicity, and brotherhood run through my mind as I listen to the story of Nelson Mandela narrated in the language of my choice. Winnie Mandela, avec qui il aura deux enfants, il va partir en prison pendant 27 ans et lorsqu'il sort de prison, il va revenir habiter dans cette maison. Mais là, lorsqu'il sort de prison en 90, tout le monde voulait voir Nelson Mandela. Certaines personnes venaient taper à sa porte à 2-3 heures du matin, juste pour... Enough of this, and I move to the reception like others passing through the gate for identification. Although camera crews are hardly allowed in, my globe watch diplomacy played to my favor, and here we are. This is the Mandela House, a three room house entered. Mandela family with first wife Evelyn Massey some 72 years ago. At the time, the apartheid system went officially operational. Nelson Mandela donated the house to the Soweto Heritage Trust in 2008. And in 2009, Nelson Mandela, uh, the Soweto Heritage Trust, restored the house back to its originality. This single red brick matchbox structure, numbered 815, on Vilakazi and Kakane streets was constructed in 1945. The front part is covered with huge illustrations of the main character, Nelson Mandela. And the entry walls carry strong messages for Nelson Mandela's second wife, Winnie, who passed away this year. This is the front part outside Mandela's house. And not uh, far from me, on my right hand, this memorial stone of Mama Winnie, just in memory of her, as you know, that she passed away this year in April. She was loved by uh, the masses, and this one just in memory of her, mother of the nation. And the clean fist means Amanda, which is power to the people. The Mandela family lived here from 1946 to 1962, the year the prison wars of Madiba begun significantly. When Nelson Mandela was in prison, he used to write only two letters a year. So it was one letter after six months. 500 words in English only because they were highly sensitive. And if the letter would contain anything political, the letter would be banned or it would be cut out. The one on the left, he was responding to the 1976 youth uprising. We who are confined within the walls of the Pretoria regime's prison to reach out to our people with you we count those who have perished by means of the gun and the hangman's rope. We salute all of you, the living, the injured and the dead, for you have dead rise up against the tyrant's might. Nelson Mandela in prison on Ruben Island in response to the Soweto uprising in 1976. Um, you are a South African. Let me just put this question to you. When you read a statement like this one, what does it record to you? It recalls that the 1976 youth, uh, they were actually more powerful than uh, you could say uh, their stalwarts themselves. Because uh, they, they actually took uh, uh, what Steve Biko calls a black consciousness movement. The tourist guide assigned to me takes around the compound to perfectly understand the environment in which I am found. And the young man takes time to explain detail by detail of this building, which became a national museum 19 years ago.
So what, what are the bullet balls all about? Um, during the 1976 youth uprising, police shot four blocks from this direction. So uh, because there were some of the students that were coming this side, and some of them uh, they were going separate ways. So police, they, just, they, they were just fired. So uh, when they fired some of them that were coming this side, they fired some of them coming this way. So some of the bullets, unfortunately, they hit the back. One of the sun post attractions as you enter the house is this tap from where the Mandela family had water to cross. I am just visiting Mandela's house because of the rich cultural heritage this house has, the impact that it actually in terms of historical value as well as the input, the history from apartheid to the right now where South Africa is, it's an important place to be to understand all that history and the humble beginnings that great man has been coming from. <laughs> I actually feel blessed to have had the opportunity to be in a place like this because growing up we all knew what Nelson Mandela was and I never imagined that I would find my, myself in a place like this. So it's actually a privilege for me and I am actually glad that the, the government of this country has made sure that they save got this place and it's still very very genuine and to its original state which is the most important area inside here that struck you most uh i feel like every place is equally important but uh it's just interesting to see the bedroom and the state in which it is you know every everything seems very well preserved and you can see it was a very tiny bed and uh it actually it's written on the walls that they used to sleep wherever they can because they were living there were quite a few people from the family living in this house so I f but i feel like the bedroom is an interesting a step in the house lands me first here in the kitchen still goes to the stove used to cook food in those days i'm from the u.s uh, from rockford illinois uh, we're on a tour of south africa and i wanted to see uh, nelson mandela's uh, home uh, a great man why did you decide just to come and visit uh, Mandela home and not any other place in South Africa? Well, he's, uh, he was uh, responsible to a large part for the uh, apartheid uh, being, uh, being overcome. Each tourist who sees the palo where this memorabilia is found is shocked by the simplicity of the house and how local it is for such a global icon like Nelson Mandela to have been in this place. I think he means to me and a lot of U.S. Uh, uh, citizens that uh, similar to Martin Luther King in the U.S. of, of getting rid of discrimination and uh, helping to uh, more so here in this country because he had a lot more to overcome. Uh, uh, Nelson Mandela did. But uh, he, both of them are great men and I wanted to see his home. Can you tell me your name? Papa. Where are you coming from? New Zealand. Uh, why are you inside Mandela House? Because I've always wanted to, and this is perhaps um, something that I've always wanted to do because I have always been in sympathy with the um, doing away with apartheid. Okay. We, we had a lot to do with that in New Zealand. Okay, so what does Mandela mean to your life in particular as an individual? He, I, he's a person that I admire, and I think we should all live up to its, that he developed when he became president. Just being in the house is uh, very special. The children's bedroom, so we enter in there. May you please go in, Baba? There's a sofa there, was Mandela's favorite chair. The time he was still alive, he used to visit. This is where he sat most of the time. One of the most visit parts of the house today, packed with awards, is the Mandela room with his bed, the telephone of those early years, letters of all sorts and gifts, awards and other forms of recognitions, which add the history value of this small room. Now I am inside the very room where Nelson Mandela used to sleep here at Mandela House in South Africa. This is the same bird where Nelson Mandela spent 11 months as soon as he left the Ruben Allen prisons in 1990, after he was released from prison. This is one of the most historic sites when it comes to recounting and telling the story 
and life of Nelson Mandela. A life that cannot be told without mention of Winnie Mandela. A lady who left us this year. To each visitor is a world of wonders, astonishment, and a king and pious look, especially at inscriptions on the world, which in most cases are extracts of Mandela's statements like this one, acknowledging the key role women and his wife in particular played in tearing down the apartheid system that jailed him for 27 years. I stand here before you not as a prophet, but humble servant of you, the people. That is one of the main declarations Nelson Mandela made in 1990 as soon as he left prison. I am inside the bedroom where Nelson Mandela and the wife Winnie and others used to spend nights. This is one of the most historic sites here in Africa. This is the bed where Mandela spent nights. It looks so simple, it looks so unique, and looks so humble. In fact, it is the summary of the sleeps, of the dreams of liberation, of a story of a man who remains original, truthful, and committed to the principles of liberty, unity, and of course, Ubuntu, the living together of the South African community. On this bird, just few people are authorized to touch, to even sleep. But like you have seen, I have had the chance to touch and even to be on the bird. And so it is quite a very simple but interesting history to tell. An ordinary Cameroonian boy born in a cocoa farm found in one of the most historic sites in the world on the bed of the famous great liberator of South Africa and a cross-century impacting personality, Nelson Mandela. Unlike many other tourists here, I enter the room where his children were sleeping. Of the many things that retain my attention here are this world champion belt given to him by America Ray, the military boots and shoes used in training in Algeria back in 1962. And in the midst of these documents, each having a meaning, is this letter from the United States State of Michigan requesting that the American spy agency, the Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA, apologize to Nelson Mandela for helping the South African intelligence and secret services to kill him as they struggle to mold the apartheid system. When Hello, you what is your name? Which was given to Nelson Mandela Where are you from? The United States. How do you feel being at Mandela House? I think it's a, a great way to preserve history and to be the house of this wonderful person. Okay. Are you happy? Yes. Um, why are you happy? Well, it's nice to be here and, you know, experience the history. Else. What have you seen here in particular, which is so special to you? Mm, I'm not really sure if anything just yet. Thank you. You're welcome. In a day, how much do you sell, for example? How do you how, how much do you make in a day? Um, well, uh, it varies. End of the month, we see a lot of cash coming in, but during the month, it's very slow. So it depends on how patient you are. So, for example, this month, how much have you made? Um, I cannot disclose that because now I have to uh, make sure that uh, you know my papers are you know in good order for me to tell you that. But uh, yeah, we we can live out of. Do you know what the history of this area? This um, place like this? Yeah, I do. I do. Can you tell me a bit? Yeah, well, uh, we have Mandela House right here, and uh, we have Desmond Tutu's house, and then we have Winnie. And uh, there is Hector Peterson, where the students uh, 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 were marching, you know, back in the day, uh, politicians of uh, Africans and all that. So, yeah, there's quite a lot of, of, of you, know, uh, uh, you know, when visitors come here, they learn a lot about okay, our history. Okay, yeah. when did 
this come here they, they learn a lot um, yes uh, how do you feel being this area when Mandela is celebrating the, the centenary anniversary it feels quite good to be part of you know this celebration because as you know he was quite a good man and uh, you know he did everything and everything for the good of South Africans and uh, we are happy to be part of uh, uh, you know the history. How, how did you celebrate the 100th anniversary of Mandela? I welcomed uh, a lot of tourists as possible as I can, and uh, you know I was you know telling them about the history, how rich South Africa is in terms of you know whatever you you know you can uh, come and you know enjoy yourself. Can here. you sing the South African national anthem? Yes, I can, okay, but good. not easy. Yeah. I need just to attend you guys. Just no, no, I would love, love, love to do that, but not now. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite busy for now, not now. Thank you. At the exterior of the house with two entries, this tree, one of the blueprint marks of Nelson Mandela in the world as a family man. And behind me, this tree, it was planted by him, Mr. Mandela. It's called Meleluka. Under the tree, they bury the umbilical cords of his children, different generations. It's an African tradition, very sacred tree to the family, and they're still doing that. Uh, past Sunday, daughter Zanani was here to put to the court of the great-grandchild. They introduced them to the soil, to the ancestors, because when we die, we go back to the soil. And the Mandela have this belief that the ancestors are here. The holes you see on the walls are Molotov cocktail attacks on several occasions Nate Mandela and when he was released from prison back in 1990 Mandela first walked in here and spent 11 nights before heading to the Hutton estate when you yourself you stand here how do you feel you feel so special so blessed oh yes so honored so blessed because he was a very humble man he sacrificed a lot to change South Africa so to honor also his legacy so he, a great uh, privilege to be standing and to be working at his house. Okay, so mm. what are you at uh, the Mandela house? My job, I work as a side guide. I narrate, I tell the story of uh, Mr. Mandela, what he went through, where he was born, why he came to Johannesburg, and also at schools, they're teaching our children now about Mandela. So we, we also have school groups across just to learn about Mandela. So my job is to tell the history, to educate them about Mr. Mandela. Um, I know that in the beginning there was no wall. Why is the wall constructed? They had a wall, but not like this one. They had a small one, a precast wall. This one was uh, erected in 2009. It represents the prison bus because he was sentenced to life, but he spent 27 years in three different prisons. So here represent the prison bus. Today, a trust managed by the Johannesburg municipality in the province of Gauten, Mandela donated this building to become a historical heritage site. And since 2007, the building has undergone repair work. And my last act here, although forbidden, was to sleep on the Mandela bed with a dream not to misuse Mandela's name in our life of adventure. I hope. We are together.